Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you struggle with your children learning the numbers, place value or even counting bigger numbers, maybe this one's for you. I made this sort of flip chart for my daughter and decided to share it with you. If you saw my desk calendar tutorial, you see it's very similar to that one. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description below. Let's start with the supplies you will need for this project. I already cut all my papers, but I'll give you all the measurements. First, you need two pieces of grey board measuring 8 by 4 inches. For matting the grey board, I'm using some mirror card, but you can use whatever you want, even a plain colored paper would be fine. So these are the same size as the grey board, 8 by 4 inches, you need two pieces of course. Next you need two pieces of pattern paper, slightly smaller than the grey board. Mine measures 7 and 3 quarter inches by 3 and 3 quarter inches. Then for the base, you will need a piece of paper measuring 8 by 3 and a half inches. This needs to be scored at 1 and 3 quarter inches, the middle actually, and 1 quarter inch on each side. For the top, you need a 7 and 3 quarter inches by 1 and 3 quarter inches piece of paper. I scored this one at 3 quarter inches and 1 inch. Then you'll need to print out the numbers from 0 to 9 on cardstock. Each rectangle is 2 by 3 inches and you need to punch a hole on the top side. You need uh, 3 of these, one from each color. If you do just the uh, hundreds, tens and ones, if you want to add the thousands, then you need to make the grey board a bit longer and add another row of numbers. And a label for each one, so we'll know which one is which, hundreds, tens and ones. The last thing you need is a few binding rings. So let's get started. First, take the grey board and the mirror card or the plain colored paper, whatever you're using, and mat the grey board. Next, take the pattern paper and glue it on top. For gluing, I used double-sided tape. So this is how the sides of the flip chart look like so far. Next, take the paper for the base and add double-sided tape to the sides. Then fold the scored lines. The base we're creating will help our flip chart uh, stand freely. Then we need to glue the base to the sides of the flip chart. Just make sure you align them nicely. Now glue the top side as well. Before gluing, just fold and burnish all the score lines.
Next we need the number cards. And the binding rings. And the labels. Next you need to create marks on your stand so you can attach the binding rings. So I took one number card of each color in order to measure and find the perfect spot for each one of them. I aligned them and marked the holes for each one. Then you just need to punch the holes in the stand and add the rings. After adding the rings, you add the numbered cards. Glue the labels as well and you're done. Thank you everyone for watching, I hope this video is useful for you. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already, as it will help me a lot. Thank you again and see you next time. Bye!